Oh shit! Double set. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Dude, I hate when it says fucking recording in progress. Really? Yeah. She kind of she she has a good voice. I like her voice. Yeah. What's up, Kyle? I like it. What's up, dude? What's up, folks? At home, how was y'all's Christmas? <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Comment Christmas. below how your Christmas was. <laughs> Comment below one of your favorite gifts you got this year for Christmas. <laughs> I'll tell you the, mine. Hit him um, with the corny YouTube right away. I got this like var- this uh, varsity jacket OSU thing. It's pretty cool. That was my favorite gift. Dude, you got another varsity jacket? Yeah. Do you just have multiple? I do. I have a Celtics. <laughs> <laughs> you said I it's always one. my favorite gift. Like you got mo- like you get one every year. <laughs> I do have multiple though. How about you, Kyle? What'd you get for Christmas? Dude, I got gifts coming, dude. I got bullets. <laughs> okay. Dude, I got fucking some bullets for Christmas, dude. That's cool. You know what I mean? 007 style. Yeah. Just like you've seen on my screen. <laughs> Dude, I got a 007 gun. It's sweet. Do you? It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. When you see it, you're like, whoa, that is 007. And then when you see you holding it, like fucking walking around the house, you're like, oh, right. that is for sure 007. Yeah, you're going to make me do it to him. You're just going to make me show him just how 007 I really am. Because I don't think the people at home will know. <laughs> he stood up and walked away. Oh fuck! Oh gosh! Oh, it doesn't show guns on YouTube. Yeah, you can. I know. It just didn't show up in the filter. Show us. <laughs> Why isn't that showing up when I do it like him? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever point that thing at me again. The bloody screen rolls down. Did you ever play Goldeneye as a kid? When the fuck did you get that? I got this actually around the time that Donald Trump getting elected. You're a uh, Mike. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> we were You're having some, we were having some technical difficulties. No, I got that in like. 2016. Oh, I did not know that. It was a gift. Yeah. It was a gift. It was a gift. But heck yeah. That's Dude, how about we I uh, went to Wisconsin? Oh, yeah. How'd that go? It was sweet. Dude, where did we went. Fly? Wait, did you fly there? Or did you drive? No, we uh, drove. It was an eight hour, okay. eight hour drive. So when we were driving there, we get in the, the city called, oh, uh, fuck. Uh, it's right next to like, Black River Falls. I forget what the fuck it's called. But it's right there in Wisconsin. And we pull in and there's a beer company there where they brew beer. Budweiser? No, it was just like a fucking company. Uh, just like a small but they brewery. were brewing beer and it smelled so bad. Yeah, like yeast. Like yeast yeah, beer. it was so bad. Like we were getting mm. into town and I started smelling myself. And I was like, did I fucking shit my pants? <laughs> Because it smells, and it smells like a fresh fart. It smells like a fresh beer shit. Yes, and it's like the worst because you wake up hungover, and then you just smell shit. That is tough. So you guys stayed right by the beer factory. Yeah, I mean, kind of. That's pretty nice. And it, it just stunk up the whole fucking town. <laughs> it's just a fucking, like a big looming, fucking stench. Villain to the town. It yeah, just smells like big... fucking everybody is farting constantly. <laughs> I bet everybody there is pretty used to it though. It 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 smells like my dirty farts when I like the farts that I get after I eat fucking seven thousand calories. So you felt at home, really? really? Kinda. Uh-huh. These are my people. Starting getting sick of it. I was like, you could you could stink. fart and just not worry about anything. <laughs> I was like, I think it's the fucking beer company. <laughs> Yeah, I've been smelling it all day. I don't know what that is. But yeah, it was dope. Went hard. Yeah. Party yeah. hard. Went over to this dude's house to smoke weed with him. Oh. And he, like, first time meeting this dude. Kind of goofy. Like, really goofy. Was he one of your cousin's friends? Yeah. And he was like, 
telling us this story about this chick that comes over and like cleans his house and he gets to like fuck her whenever like just whenever he wants yeah (laughs) first time meeting this guy and he's like telling me about it super weird he like has this checkoff list and she like literally cleans his house and checks off he's got a real maid yes and he like writes this checkoff list what yeah i was super drunk and i was like that's crazy Smoking his weed, I was like, "Keep, he, keep back." So this guy's loaded. Was where you're telling no, me? No, he's guy... not really loaded. He just lived in like an apartment complex. It was just <laughs> fried. A, it was like horrible investment, dude. It was crazy because he got pulled over. Right, we leave the bars and we're drinking. We're fucked up. He gets pulled over and we pass him and there's two cops on him. Right, so he gets let go. He got pulled over. Okay. He blew over. Right. <laughs> And he did the alphabet and he fucked up the fucking end of it and they still let him go. What? Yeah. That's insane. And he just had to leave his car and walk home. Okay, so that's cool. I mean, cops pulled away and he just drove his car home. Was it cold as fuck? No. Oh, did he just I mean, it was chilly, yeah, but um, he was drunk. Damn. And they just just let him go. go. How far was he from home? Was he close? Yeah. Probably like okay, a mile. See, that's probably why. That's probably why. Still, like he, he did all the tests, failed them. <laughs> fuck out of you. They said, "Well, yeah, you're good, man. I've been there." <laughs> so yeah. the Wisconsin cops seem to fucking or that that dude might have him in his pocket. He might. Maybe, maybe he's loaded. He's got maids coming got over, maids. and he can fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> like what? What kind of situation that guy's living in? He was like showing me the fucking list. And he, he had it wrote out like specifics on what to do to clean. And I was like, what in the fuck? That's he, and he like pulled out this like little duster. I was like waving what? it around and showing like, us. Did, that she, I was like, I, dude, like, did he have like a, an outfit for her? like the little dude, maid outfit? Yes. And I was like, dude, just fucking turn on some NBA young boy. Let's smoke some weed, dude. I ain't, I ain't trying to listen to you talking about. That and guy's I, got like a monthly. Subscription to just a hooker. That yeah. just comes over. <laughs> so I so I asked him if she was hot. He said, eh. And I said, so you just got this fucking wildebeest <laughs> cleaning your house and you're just fucking it. And he said I can fuck her <laughs> when I want to. <laughs> so if oh, I want dude. to. And dude, and I, I mean I don't normally want to, but I, I can fuck her. <laughs> it was funny as fuck. That it's funny. He was like telling me, and I'm just like Smoke more of your weed. Keep smoking. <laughs> said, Roll a bigger one, please. Keep me stoned and get me out of here. Yeah, there was one point when I looked at my cousin and I was like, let's get the fuck out of here. Sounds like your cousin definitely uses that guy for weed. Yeah, I mean, he was like, made. he like works with him and he was, he was like just dying laughing when he was saying this shit. That's funny as fuck. Happens. Homie's got a maid. Yeah, sometimes your homie has a maid. And then on on the ride home, he can fuck her. (laughs) And then on the fucking ride home, it started snowing out of nowhere, right? Like Mm. out of nowhere. On like the eight hour ride home? Yeah. And this is like three miles away from Ohio or from Wauseon. Oh, so. And it's like, in, in, in a matter of a minute, I'm not lying, the whole road was covered in like a thing of snow. And we were going 65. Just damn. And we uh hit it white out and we start sliding, right? We slide and it's like kind of like on an angle, right? And it's like a curve. We uh-huh. like slide from one side of the fucking highway all the way back to the other like three times. Yeah, damn. Yeah, and we're like freaking like fishtailing? out. Fishtailing? Fishtailing. Uh, and that's uh, how I spun out on the highway, bro. Dude. Not me, but I was in the car. And like my fucking cousin didn't have her seatbelt on. So I just like grabbed her and I'm like, fucking hold on. Cause it, it was just you, too Mija. deep. It was just two deep ditches on both sides. Damn. Yeah. That's so, fucked. That it was scary, like scary bro. as fuck, like seeing the car yeah. slide towards the ditch and you're like, oh, we're about to roll. Like, I'm about yeah, to roll bro. in this car. Did that give you like a different feeling on driving, bro? Because oh, that yeah. fucked me up for like a, a pretty good amount of time. Like me in a passenger seat. Not driving, just in the front seat. Like, I get nervous sometimes now because I fucking spun out like that. And it was in my car. 
<laughs> on fucking Christmas Eve. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, yeah, that was on the 12-hour ride from uh, Ohio to Arkansas, and I had to work Christmas Day. We spun out. Buddy was driving. I might have told this story on here before, but Buddy was driving, and we like did a full 360 after we fishtailed just like you guys, and it was after he'd passed the entire crowd of cars, got in front of all the semis. So like he passed one semi and then double passed two semis to where the one that the first one was also going to pass the first semi. So when we spun out, he caught it in reverse and we were like looking at double lane semis, like one semi here. Oh God, bro. Yeah. Like, so we couldn't just stop. He had to like, I remember it like went slow motion. We like looked at each other. He like put his hand on like the fucking headrest of mine and like kicked it into reverse. And then fucking put it in reverse into the goddamn medium. <laughs> Luckily, one side was a big ditch. One side was like a medium with one of those wire barriers. Yeah. And we hit the like mud and snow going like yeah. probably like 30 by the time, 40 by the time we sl- like slowed down from going 65. Yeah. And uh, then like went back. And by the time we hit the wire barrier, we were only going like 15, maybe 10. And so it just busted good. my tail light. Yeah, and it, we were good, but we got stuck for a second in the snow on, like, the highway right where we spun out. And we were just thinking, like, dude, if we spun out, somebody else is going to spin out in the exact same spot and <laughs> totally crush us. We were like, we're dead. We got to get the fuck out of here. We called the cops. They didn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> we, like, the threw our fucking... Guy. We threw our cart and everything. Like, we got rid of all of our weed. Oh, that's the worst. I've done middle that of, times. Middle of Cloverdale, Indiana. Middle of butt fuck nowhere, Indiana. <clears throat> Dude, you like have you ever gotten into an accident or something and you had to like ditch your weed? Yeah, that time, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. I like oh, but get this though. Up. Get this though. So like you'd think we could drive home, but it was blizzard. So like yeah. my car had bald tires. I only got two of them replaced because they only had two of my tires at the Walmart that we stopped at and fucking uh yeah, so like I call my mom. I'm freaking out. She's freaking out. She's like, "What are you guys going to do? I'll get you a hotel." And I was like, "Hell yeah." Like fresh 19-year-old. Like, Dude, yeah. we get a hotel. So we got the we got to the Best Western. We were in a fucking hot tub in like the next hour, dude. It felt like we had died cuz one second we were like freaking out. Yeah. Crash in the car, and then an hour later we're in a hot tub, and then that night we ended up like going and surfing the town checking out like the mcdonald's and the dollar general looking for like other degenerates that knew where to get weed (laughs) fucking scored some dude we seen these kids at uh mcdonald's like all they all they bought was cookies (laughs) like they said ordered 200 or whatever and they walked up there and it was a big bag of like 12 cookies and we're like go ask them yeah so we like played rock paper scissors and fucking the one who lost went over and asked them and the kids were freaking out they're like no way we're waiting on our dude right now. Like, for sure we can get you guys some weed. Yeah, That'd be awesome. Awesome. Dude, it was funny as shit. They were, like, they were younger than us. I think they might have been possibly underage, not going to lie. But So they contributed to... <laughs> it was the opposite. It was the opposite of contributing to a minor. Like, we bought weed from minors <laughs> in the middle of fucking Midwest America. That's great. Dude, it was hilarious. Yeah, we had... Uh, I stayed back with the car, but my other two buddies rode with them like an hour away in the middle of fucking blizzard <laughs> to go get this weed. Funny as shit. By the time we got back, I told them, dude, it's funny. Those are the memories you make, no? Dude, it's crazy. On Christmas Eve, dude, we woke up the next day on Christmas in fucking Cloverdale, Indiana, Best Western. <laughs> oh, that's funny as fuck. Like, what the fuck, dude? late for work yeah dude i've like this car backed up into me outside of the movie theater and mm. i like hopped out of my car and and <laughs> we hot boxed my car before the movie started oh. uh, so this is after the movie mm-hmm. and my car just reeks like weed i have like fresh weed in the car i just instantly <laughs> hide it and then just hide it by a rock oh okay nice yeah that was good so you just stashed it you didn't like we took the car off and like 
Like, <laughs> beam that bitch across the highway. Waited for like 20 minutes. No cops showed up. It was like, dude, what? Then, we could have been getting stoned this whole time. And then finally, like, a veteran, a dude with like Marines on his thing, like, pulled over and, like, like yeah, I'll, I'll help you guys out. And by that time, we had already pushed it out of the mud. We just didn't want to pull out and start slipping and sliding while on the highway in cars. Yeah. So Instantly like, crash again. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Instantly get T-boned by a fucking another car. The semi we just dodged. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, dude. I've I've done that multiple times where I've thrown weed. Like, if <laughs> if it's in a hard enough container, I'll throw it where I, like, where a cop's behind me and I toss it and it, like, lands next to a telephone pole and then I go back and get it. Are you serious? Yeah, this is when I was like 18. Bruh, that's funny. <laughs> See, okay. I would have been just paranoid freaking out, not taking the risk of littering, because I feel like I just get pulled over for littering then. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. They just get me. I mean, I've done it where... <sighs> I've done littering. this, dude. When I was 16, me and my buddy, like a cop got behind us. We were at a local park smoking weed. And then the cop comes right behind us. Like we leave as the cop pulls in and we're like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> and we turn around the corner and I have a one hitter and then I have like an old pill bottle full of like stupid weed, like weed that's terrible. Yeah. We turn the corner and I throw the fucking bottle of weed and I keep the one hitter and I still get in trouble <laughs> for the one hitter. <laughs> oh, you got caught with it. They caught you. Damn. Yeah. We got pulled over like immediately. Fuck. He was like, "Yeah, you guys left right after we got there, and you guys stared at us the whole time." That was. <laughs> and we're like, "What?" He said, "You guys stared at us with your squinty eyes. <laughs> you guys looked high as fucking shit, eyes redder than the devil's dick." <laughs> I just watched Pineapple Express the other day, dude. Great movie, dude. What's that one movie? Oh, what the fuck is it called? Oh, that one we were just talking about. Yeah. Keep the world called? behind. That's so good. They, it was good. They had everything spot on, I feel like, with how it would happen. Yeah. But then why'd they end it like that? Spoiler alert, dude. I mean, if anyone hasn't seen the movie, we're going to totally ruin the ending right now. Yeah, but it's just... It's fucking stupid, bro. Like, like they that place you know... that, like, so the place she finds is fucking sweet. Well, yeah, it's a bunker. Yeah. And I get that it's, like, all, like, deep metaphor for how society has turned out and how we're raising our kids and how they don't give a fuck but like still bro they just built up so much tension for what was going to happen to the family in the movie and then all of a sudden it cuts to the bitch watching friends and it's over like yeah. come on i was bummed because i mean they did it they like, was you want a cliffhanger yeah cliffhanger but you know they're not gonna make a second one why would they do that like we just have to assume that they all died yeah, and the, and the little girl just got fat down there, and <laughs> just hanging out watching Friends on repeat. But uh, the mom did look at the house earlier and say like she's got to be in there. Yeah, but they, they could have done like the way that it made her walk towards the staircase and shit. You know, it's like it, it made it so suspenseful, and then she just walks onto a bunker and watches Friends. Yeah, dude, exactly. <laughs> no, I was pissed. I'm not gonna lie, because I wanted to see what happened to the boy, the young yeah. boy with losing his damn teeth. What? He was fucked. Yeah, dude. That's so like, like worst case scenario. What are you doing if you pull up in your Tesla? That was insane. To just a bunch of other Teslas crash and boom. <laughs> That'd be fucked. That was a good part. I mean, yeah, they did the movie really good. Like, especially with the way that like cyber attacks and shit. Like yeah. they added that in there. Uh, that's kind of had it to that, a T. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Did you see uh, a bunch of Teslas did just get recalled off the road for that reason? Basically. I did see that. The uh they're more susceptible to cyber attacks. Oh, really? Yeah. How does that Dude, I'm telling, like, you remember our one buddy? Not not the one buddy, but the older the one who's older than us, who was talking about, like, conspiracies, like, predictive programming. Yeah. Where they, like, drop shit in Hollywood movies so that later on we're, like, desensitized to it. Yeah. Like, what is going on nowadays? That's all they're doing, bro. Like, they just give us this movie 
And then, like, two weeks later, they're telling us about cyber attacks and fucking pulling Teslas off the road. Like, what? I don't know. Yeah, it's, Somebody uh, knows them. I feel like we're, our, like we're already getting cyber attacked. Dude, I feel like we've been getting cyber attacked since, like, meme pages became <laughs> like huge. O'Brien was, like, cheesing on his school photo. <laughs> since back then dude yeah. fucking they've been putting that shit in our brains honestly from 2012 <laughs> they've just been chipping away at it i funny where one day they're just gonna show us a meme that just drives us all insane it's gonna be like the trigger meme it's like the activation code <laughs> have, you seen american... have you ever seen american ultra no dude that's a good ass movie it's got uh Jesse Eisenberg, I think that's his name, dude from the uh, Zombie Land. Okay. It's got so what happens? It's got him and then uh, the girl from Twilight, I think. In it, I forget her name. Don't too. know that pale ass bitch. I think she's in it. Yeah. Yeah. And she's kind of a babe in that one, but uh, <laughs> she kind of got it together. He's like a he's like a CIA experiment, and he doesn't know it. He's just like a stoner in this town who has bad anxiety. But every time he leaves town, he just freaks out, gets anxiety, and like says, I have to go back. So he's like stuck in this town his whole life and doesn't know that he's actually stuck until one day, like the CIA agent that's ahead like of his basically like project and like monitors him all the time finds out that like her project is gonna get shut down. So like he's gonna get killed. And she goes rogue and she went, she goes and she like says this word, this like sentence that activates his brain into like CIA fucking combat agent mode. Dude, it's it's a good ass fucking movie. And then he goes nuts. <laughs> well, yeah, he goes from this like stoner who like just doesn't do shit but work at a gas station and smoke weed to uh like just a fucking John Wick ass dude. So like these dudes try to come and kill him and he like kills him with a pen. <laughs> he's like he like doesn't know what's going on all of a sudden he has all this knowledge it's funny as fuck Good it movie. does sound badass sounds Dude, like something i should badass be stoned and watch for sure i mean you'll be less paranoid than watching this movie because this movie was scary bro lucky she like the fucking mom that girl right there behind you mm-hmm. she low-key wanted that black dick she did she did, and she was being mad about it. She was yeah, like, she was being aggressive. It's gonna, it gonna be like one of those sex scenes where they slap each other, like mad, like fucking Mister and Mrs. Mrs. Smith. <laughs> she like, <laughs> she's like the one that'll like push off and get super mad, and then by the end of the night, he's fucking. And then by the end of the year, you have charges. That's <laughs> just get that works. By the end of the year, you're me too. <laughs> Your life is over, dude. She was being like super racist and uh, give me big black dick. What (laughs) I said, (laughs) she started off super racist, yeah, and then she she just like, all right, let's fuck. (laughs) She's like, oh shit, my kid, yeah, bro, yeah. What do you think? Uh, what do you think the plot was? Like, they didn't explain it really. So, like, what do you think was going on? Do you think? In the movie, it was, like, their own government, like how the dude said. How he said it was, like, a three-step process to yeah, topple the government so. from the inside. Yes. Uh-huh. So you think that's what it was? Because I mean, on the West Coast, they were blaming it on... Yeah. Who was it? Like, Russia or China? They were blaming it on Korea. Yeah. yeah. And then... And then they had Death to America, like... Like Russians. No, it was, like, like uh, Afghanis. Was See, it? I'm getting in trouble here because it wasn't Afghanistan. It's probably like it was um, some um, sort of Islam terrorist <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> I was slippery slope, dude. That was slippery slope. But fucking <laughs> See, I like how they like tried to make you think it was like rapture though. You know what I mean? Yeah. It like really that. made you think it was like end of the world shit. Yeah. But no, it was just some we gotta clear some people out. But that doesn't really make sense with how uh but why were the they electromagnetic the electromagnetic switch in the poles, you know what I mean? Yeah. And the boat crash. Like, why did the boat crash? Like, were they uh 
See, there's so much shit they could have done. They could have showed fucking Ethan Hawke getting shot at least. Yeah. And he was, he was, with all the deer. Huge... <laughs> yeah. Just fucking standing, staring at humans. I mean, yeah, that was creepy. But they did say that there was like weird activity with animals in the uh when they toppled like the Taiwanese government or something like that. Remember the dude who was prepared for it, the prepper? He was like saying how uh these attacks happened before in other parts of the country or other parts of like the world. Oh, yeah. He was like the birds there were reported with I think he I think he touched on that maybe. I know he talked about the radiation with the kids, so he made that make sense make sense. <laughs> like the microwave rays, like that was the noise, that was the sound yeah. that they heard. And it just fucked them up. Maybe that fucked the animals. I don't know, but I feel like a lot of the shit in this movie was real. Like I feel like that shit is real. Like it's gonna it, happen? Not like it's gonna happen, but it could. Like they oh, have yeah. the they have the technology to make all of that happen to a T. Yeah. That's scary. <laughs> That's yeah. the only thing that made this actually scary. And I mean, if what anything if our even happens to just our internet, yeah. if anything happens to just our internet, that's what happens. We're looking at this. Yeah, it's World War fucking. What is that? Three, four. It's gonna be four by that time. Because it's three. It's about to be three. We're probably in three right now, is what I hear. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like. Like, do you think they knew they were first anti? Think about how we learn about, uh, like, World War Three right now is Republicans versus. No, I mean trans. <laughs> 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 Uh, Republican dude. versus Democrat. That's World War Three right now. <laughs> no, think about how we learn about like world history and wars before us, and like how we learn about the lead ups to it. Like we're in the lead up right now. Like oh, people yeah. are gonna learn about. Like we're already in World War Three. I feel like if it does end up going down, like they're for sure gonna be learning about everything in the past ten years. Yeah, and it's gonna be just like, oh, oh like. 30% of male Americans at this point in time were smoking a ton of weed, playing video games, and jerking off. And about 50% of them had a podcast. <laughs> Talking absolutely about nothing. 49% were failing. And the other fucking... 99% were waiting on GTA 6. <sighs> I never and got to see it. They rewrite the history books with like... Like, we don't do, like, there's not shit. What do you mean? January 6th happened. What are, you, what are you talking about? No, there's a lot of shit that goes on, for sure. Like, but, like, what are I'm, they going to rewrite? Like, so they... All the I'm cyber going, shit going on, for sure. All the, you know, the first like, one, the, close calls that we've had with all these military naval ships recently. You know what I mean? They've had, like, plenty of... uh close calls they'll probably learn about seth rogan and james franco almost bringing us to world Th- war three with a movie yeah <laughs> that was nuts dude the interview great movie banger movie that was a great movie dude r.i.p to those guys' careers yeah great so, do you think seth rogan's ever gonna make like a seth rogan like level movie again uh he's not sold out He's not sold out, but I've seen him painting his nails. <laughs> Sometimes, I guess. I mean, he's not sold yeah. out. But he does. He hasn't made a movie in a hot minute, and him and James Franco don't work together anymore. Yeah, if he's painting his nails, he ain't making a banger anytime soon. And James Franco don't work with him anymore. Seth Rogen. He got, he got me too Did which he? Which might be, yeah, James Franco, which might be true. I'm not, I hate to. Who's the one that lost all the way away from that? Who's the one that lost all the weight? Jonah Hill. Yeah, he fell off. He was a shit. He's still pretty cool, but he did. He he just went through the Hollywood ringer. I feel like you know. Yeah, he started taking Ozempic. He got he got big bullied out of, out of like he was bullied as the fat guy. People yeah. called him the Hollywood fat guy for a long time. And then he finally yeah. said, "Fuck it." Yeah, I'm and a Hollywood <laughs> crackhead. And then they then they started saying. Like, how does it feel not to be the Hollywood fat guy? <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck? I've seen, like, multiple clips of him being like, can we just leave this behind? Let's talk about the fact that 
our huh? boy who did the world a favor and went and uh, hacked into the Rockstar servers and leaked all the GTA 6 footage that we've seen about six yeah. months to a year ago. They got him. Really? They got him. Did you not see this? No. Dude, he was like a UK hacker. He's uh, apparently autistic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So he's like a savant, and he's in this group of like super proficient hackers, super good. And uh, I don't know if they just, I don't think they used him as like a patsy. It was definitely him doing it. But uh, they got him and fucking, dude, gave this man indefinite hospitalization in like a mental asylum. So like life in prison, basically. Really? But not prison in the hospital. Yes. Why? <laughs> this guy's this guy got life. Because basically when he hacked this, he was already being tried, like being moved to like a I don't know if he was being moved to a facility or if they were just housing him in a hotel, like waiting for court and like monitoring him or something like that. But he was in a hotel. They took all of his computer, all of his hacking equipment away from him, what they thought. So all he had on him was a fire stick and his hotel TV and a Wi-Fi router. And with that, because he was being tried for uh, hacking into like a bunch of different tech companies like NVIDIA and like a bunch of different companies like that. He hacked into like every employee's email and basically uh, tried to get ransom and said like, if you don't get pay me this like $400,000, I'm going to leak all your information and sell all your data basically to all the big tech companies. So he ended up getting pinched. <laughs> and he ended then up getting dude... pinched. <laughs> that doesn't yeah, you don't really need any more explanation. They didn't give him the money. They caught him, put him in that hotel room, and he with his TV, a Wi-Fi router, and a fucking fire stick. That's how he did the hacking of Rockstar. He that's hacked into Rockstar crazy. and then leaked all that gameplay footage and then said, Rockstar, pay me five hundred thousand dollars. Or I'm going to leak your source code. Like, basically everything to the game. And, uh, yeah, they just arrested him. <laughs> Dude, that is insane. Imagine the he's... power of, like, being disabled. Yeah. Yeah. Was smart enough to fucking do exactly. crazy shit. That's why they gave him to, life. Like, ask for a ransom. That's what they gave him life for. They deemed him unfit for society and, like, a danger to society. And he had in his quote to the court, like, I'm never going to stop hacking. Like, <laughs> this is my passion. <laughs> he will go down. Like, this guy, badass. <laughs> so he's for sure going to be hacking in the fucking hospital. Dude, yeah. I, I have a feeling we might hear it. He's like Mr. Glass. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to, like, fake, fake super being, like, big retarded just to get so... access to a computer. And then he's going to be like, they probably put him in like a insane asylum because why he wouldn't because his family said if uh he got sent to prison it would be a death sentence basically so like that was his case was like he can't let's not send him to prison because he's not fit for jail he just doesn't he's just smart <laughs> why so even when they seen him with a fucking fire stick and router they weren't like oh this isn't I'm pretty sure no one thought he was going to hack into a multi-million dollar company again. But, yeah. <laughs> he was probably sitting in that hotel room staying up for like four or five. Nine, 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 nine. Just like we play video games. He's just... Yeah, bro. In there. Crazy. Crazy, dude. I'm, I got to go look up a picture of him. How does he look? What are, you, are you trying to set me up here? Does he look like he has Down syndrome? <laughs> No, dude, he doesn't. He has what, autism? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I, it's like high-level functioning autism, I think. But, I don't know. Obviously, it's high-level functioning. That dude's doing some crazy shit. Let me look it up. The guy who hacked Rockstar. Dude, where's fucking Jamie? Yeah, where's fucking Garrett? Garrett, Garrett's gone, guys. Garrett, yeah, we fired that dude. I'm firing him right now. You're fired, bro. Why can't I find it on Google Images? Just quick, as the guy who hacked Rockstar. 
The guy who leaked GTA 6. I'll look that up. Dude, crazy though. Imagine being, yeah, like how you said, imagine being so smart. They just know how to ruin multi million dollar companies. And then he's asking for a payout. Yeah. He was in like a hacking group. So, like, I've been getting like sucked into these rabbit holes on these hackers that'll like learn hacking at a really young age and getting like basically they don't have a social life. So, they're like, social life is on Discord and on these like big forums full of other people that are learning the same shit like coding and hacking and uh yeah dude some of them get into these just like cd forums and get in touch with the wrong or right people depending on how you're looking at it and just get themselves into some shit just learn knowledge that's like biting into the fucking apple of eden or whatever it's i like, mean dude, people that go out and, and get pcs and they're spending time yeah no for like, sure dude, but like yeah, so like so imagine, I don't imagine somebody that's like that yeah. deep. Why would you not want to try and learn how to make your money back on a PC, obviously? So like once they learn how to make money and it's illegal, dude, what's stopping you? That's crazy to think. Yeah. Crazy. You find um, him? You find that no. bastard? I'm gonna have to look up the autistic guy. They they're gonna make <laughs> me do that. He pops right up. It's it's gonna. Oh, dude, what are these images? All right, fine. I'll go to the actual fucking. Why does it keep telling me? Oh, oh yeah, this is him. Hold on, Arian Cortage or something. Yeah, he's eighteen, dude. He's eighteen. That's crazy, dude. Fucking crazy, dude. Life. Is there a photo of him? Yeah, let me see if I can. It's taking me to a website, so I gotta see if I can just pay for the monthly subscription. Yeah, exactly. Get past their paywall real quick and then just steal their image. Oh my god, I found one. What of him? Here we go. <laughs> dude, what? Dude, that's I'm talking to an actor, bro. That's you. That's the guy who fucking got yeah. in the GTA 6 and leaked it all. Look, that's him right now. Dude, that's crazy. Isn't that nuts? He was so happy. Isn't that fucking nuts? He's holding a marlin or something in that picture, yeah, dude. Big dude. ass fish. <laughs> dude, yeah. Indefinite. He, just, dude, he dude. just knew how to do some shit that he shouldn't have known how to do. Yeah. Man. And he was that's on Discord it. grinding. Grinding. Making friends. <laughs> Stealing things. Those those <laughs> those Discord friends can fuck you, dude. That's crazy, crazy. Like that guy was a, he was living a fucking movie. That guy was living a movie. Just that guy was in a hotel, like grinding with a fire stick and a fucking white pipe. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that's crazy. It's like every South Park episode of like the guy who's stuck in the computer. It's like a super the, bad guy. Just the like, World of Warcraft one? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's what you'd think he'd look like, but no, yeah. he looked like a young... Autistic. Smiling, autistic Marlin catching good fella, dude. He would have never thought. He was just an online bandit. Yeah, he was part of a group called Lapsus. Something like that. L-A-P. Well, shout out. S-U. Lapsus. Dollar sign. Dollar sign. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> we need to get them on the pod. We should. We should get one of them to have like an... Uh, an anonymous mask. Yeah. And then we can tell them to disguise their voice, but then mid uh podcast we can swat them. True. We can swat them, you know what I mean? Some I, swat team to their house. I can do some hacking, find his um, an IP. Dude. I can find it. Fucking PI Ed finding the IP, dude. Private investigator. Oh. Dude, I'm about to go to Dollar General and get some junk food. You should get uh these little uh personal pan pizzas. Oh, I've been fucking with the little mini muffins. Oh, really? Those are a ripoff. Yeah, they are, but those are such a ripoff, dude. That's a bad investment. You can They're get those bad. cheaper at work, I bet. Yeah, I probably could. 
Yeah, you're fucking yourself, dude. But I like don't the buy ones. those. They're good. They are with a glass. It's like ball. buying gushers. It it's is. Like buying, it's like same level as buying well, gushers. Gushers are kind of like I'm. I'm kind of over the gummies. Gushers are like top tier. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, kind of fuck my stomach up. Say that again, dude. <laughs> Gun down, dude. Sorry. All right, dude. Really? Welcome back. Welcome back. Dude, next week, back at it. Yeah. We're, we're, schedule, we're schedule back. Program. We were on vacation. It was Christmas. Did it, did oh, I have that GoPro. It. We have to do something with that GoPro. Let's go do some bar reviews. We got to go on a road trip, dude. Yeah, but let's go do bar reviews when you get back. All right. Well, I mean, I got to spend some time with my family as well, though. Yeah. I forgot. Kyle has family. Uh, this is our boy who lock it. <laughs> I'm not even going to when GTA comes out. Dude, that sucks so bad. Yeah, he's probably a big GTA dude. Bro, that sucks so bad. Dude, he was probably playing the RP. He probably didn't even play GTA. He probably just knew that it was a hot game. He's he was hacking into shit like big companies. Yeah. Like Nvidia is like the highest traded tech company that's that there is. And he was trying to fucking <laughs> get in there. He was in there. He was in there. He got caught. He got caught in there. <laughs> his hand in the cookie jar. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Well, I'll let you go get your junk food. Yeah. Hey, uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy and we'll do a pod before New Year. Possibly. Oh, New Year is this weekend. What day do you come back? Friday. All right. Bye. Friday night. Yup. I'll let All you right. know. Adios. Later, Phil.